afternoon, folks. Welcome to Condal Bistro. Today, I have a little bit of a special um, informational show today. It's not my usual cooking show today. And uh, I have Gail Oliveira, the food service director, who is my partner in crime every day in the kitchen. Not so much in the kitchen, but in the whole scheme of things and how we put together a whole food program for the kids and every day. And uh, so we have a couple of um, big things happening at Case School Lunch Program. And we wanna just tell you a little bit about what's been going on, especially here at the high school. And in case, you know, your kids don't go home and share things with you. We do a lot of fun things with the kids, not just the cooking show. And of course, if you've watched any of the programs that have gone on, the corn shucking, and all these other different little things that I try and film throughout the year, um, we also do some other company promotions through Chartwells. So Gail and I work for Chartwells. And again, Gail's the food service director and I'm the district chef. So we're a team here and we try and put a lot of our company's ideas into play here at Swansea School District. So Gail, if you wanna start by telling them the first thing that we're gonna start working on in a couple of weeks, which is very exciting to me, um, so why don't you let one of the, folks know? One of the first things we're doing, it's called Student Choice, and you're gonna see this logo, This your students are gonna see this logo everywhere. And a group of our regional chefs, and you met uh, quite a few of them at our summer meeting this year, um, They've created various stations uh, with different recipes to go along with them at their schools. And the premise of student choice is that the students get to vote on the special. And once they do vote on the items that they like, um, we will feature them on a future menu. So we'll be doing that within the next month. Right, Karen? I think you've worked on that. Yeah, in a couple of weeks, um, I chose, a we're going to do this twice coming up, and I chose four options for the kids to vote on. And uh, with the ladies back in the kitchen, I got a lot of them that are willing to help me. We're going to prepare four recipes, and then over two days, they will vote on the, the four recipes. And they'll vote through their phones. It's on an app. And then in the end, we will, at the end of the two weeks, um, we'll tally the votes and then whoever, you know, however the, the voting goes, that's what we will feature through the month. So the kids are, they love the food that they're eating here. I try and get very creative with a lot of the, the different um, choices, the different menus that we have, with the different options that we have. But I do love to please them and see what they really, really love and want to see featured on the entree anyway. And uh, this is a great opportunity to do that. And um, I think they're really going to love this because, at, especially at the high school level, they are very interactive and they really want to participate in anything that I'm doing throughout the year and in the cafeteria and in the kitchen. And um, so we got a great bunch of kids here. So I think we're going to have much success with this program. And I think they're gonna love it and have a lot of fun with it. And then in the end, they always love to see what they voted on and, and oh, my pick, they all got one, my yep. pick is here. And so they love to see that kind of thing. And, uh, and it does help us through the company standpoint because then we could test, it helps to test out all these recipes throughout the country. Um, what's the next thing you're working on, Karen? Um, well, a another thing, and we've had a lot of feedback and a lot of kids really interested, I'm going to do a seven-week culinary course. And it's an elective. They're going to do it during their bubble um, hour or 45 minutes. It'll, be, it'll go on for seven weeks. And they've voted. I have come up with 24 different recipes, and they voted on their seven top choices and and each week we will feature one of those seven i think you were working with uh dr jensen from the library she yeah. and you collaborated on this because she was really interested in well, this she as approached well. she approached me on it and i of course right away yes 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 i always love any program i can do with the, the students and um it'll be a good learning experience you never know how else it could expand to um we do it's, this will be unique for Swansea and unique for the area as well. 
Um, yeah, so what I've decided, and not so many this year of the culinary shows that I've been doing, and I wanted to feature more of these programs that we're going to do throughout the year with the students, I think we'll film, and that will be part of our uh, Cardinal Bistro series. So maybe every third I'll throw in a cooking show, but each month you will see how we interact with the children, and I think it just showcases what we do here for the kids. Well, what we do with Chartwells is we have quarterly um, marketing campaigns. Um, our first one was, I think it was Power Up, and this one for this month where we had uh, kind of uh, not just healthy food, but healthy food for the athlete. And It gave me a, uh, an opportunity too to really showcase some of the items that we had to power up their performance, whether yep. it was on the field or power up your performance in the classroom. So I really interacted a lot with the kids in showing them choices that they should be making and not just going to the vending machine before a game and taking a bag of, you know, the whole grain Doritos. You might want to pick a parfait and this is how this will power up your performance. So it just got, gave me that opportunity to educate the kids a little bit more. And that's what we want to do through the food program. Our, our one this month, uh, month is uh, uh, seat, to table. seat to Table. And next month is cooking. Yeah, scratch cooking. 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 Scratch cooking, which of course. That's your thing. That's my thing. I, you know, I love doing all the homemade stuff and cooking from scratch. So that'll be our next month's pro, uh, promotion. And we're going to take that by storm. So. And something that you don't really know, we really appreciate uh, local and regional uh, produce and what the company has done, the chefs have sourced farmers uh, locally through Rhode Island and Massachusetts. And we, what are some of the items, Karen, that we've been using in uh, our foods? Well, we went crazy with kale uh, for the last two weeks. We did, uh, you know, kids, I did some kale chips, which kids had never had. So we did our own kale chips here at the high school. Um, broccoli, we went crazy with broccoli and different types of broccoli salads and um, we featured that. The kids loved steamed broccoli. That was a big thing around here. So we went nuts with broccoli. And then potatoes will be, we, do, month, we do a potato bar. And uh, of course, the corn. We had um, a shucking a contest, shucking contest with yeah. the corn because we had, you know, a, a huge amount of corn that we had to go through. So the kids shucked it, had a contest, loved that, got some prizes from it. And then we featured it the next day on the entree line. So it was really, really fun. And then the kids loved that. They shucked it and then they got to eat the corn the next day and they were proud of what they did. So and a lot of them didn't even know how to peel corn. So they're learning here at the high school level and, and that's it's nice. And that's at the high school level. We're, let's not forget that we have the junior high school and we have four great elementary schools that we're collaborating. Uh, gradually we want to collaborate based upon their needs as well. Uh, a lot of the things we pilot here at the high school, and if they send, tend to work, um, we scale them down a little bit to fit the other schools. Uh, but this is our uh, testing ground here at the high school. I, I would say much success to our elementaries on our breakfast in the class program, which is going on right now. At Brown? Brown has exceeded our expectations on that and then we are going to be starting at Gardner. We're going to be piloting it with the kindergarten teachers at Gardner. Um, I do want to just remind folks that uh, eating breakfast is very important. We know that there are people, there are students that come here hungry, even here in Swansea. So breakfast is available every single day. So when we partnered with Brown, uh, Wendy Williams, the principal at Brown Elementary last year, we couldn't even imagine the success, and it is a lot of kids participate. So now, uh, Mr. Overy at Gardner is receptive, and we're piloting it with his kindergarten students. Mm -hmm. And all of this was uh, made possible by a grant that we, we secured last September, um, which allowed us. So again, success. Uh, we'll move forward with some of these. So there's a lot going on in Swansea. Karen is a major part of what's going on and I thank you for inviting me today to share. Thank you, Gail. Thank you for having to coming on the show and uh, I hope that you all keep participating and tuning in and be, you know, on the lookout for all of these great 
programs that we're going to be doing and watch out for your kids and your grandkids being on the shows because you're going to see a lot more kids coming out and want to be taped and um, we got some great stuff coming up so I appreciate you watching today and Gail? May I ask one more thing? I just uh, want to let you know that uh, you, Karen's been great here in Swansea but just want to let you know that she's been acknowledged w through our company as the regional culinary lead uh, in the Northeast region with Chartwells uh, based off of all the culinary leads, the chefs in uh, all the states of New England and upstate New York. Karen, I want to congratulate you for Thank this you, high Karen. accomplishment because we have her here. Um, but she's been recognized by the president of our company and acknowledged by her peers. And uh, I'm proud that uh, she works with us here in Swansea and to give everybody else a run. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Gail, for that. And I, I love my job, and I love working with the students every day. So it's really not a chore, and I was honored by that. And um, so with that, I will say have a great afternoon, and just be on the lookout for some great, fun, exciting things coming your way on Cardinal Bistro. Have a good afternoon. Take care. Thank you.